feel ourselves hinge the wrist, okay? And then just turn everything back with this structure. Nothing's happening with those forearms, right? We're just using the chest. Right? You get in here, and when you go back, you like to immediately flatten that club and then go this way into the golf ball, right? Then you start picking up your leg and flipping everything through impact, right? Last year we worked on the flip because you weren't quite as flat. In San Francisco, we spent years working on you getting flat, and you've gone back to that. <clears throat> so, we need to change how we feel about our backswing. For you, I'm gonna do that right now with how your lead forearm works, okay? And then I'm gonna give you a drill. I want you to feel your, your lead forearm, for you, a right-handed player, that's your left hand, or left arm, is gonna stay pointed down to the ground the entire backswing, okay? So I'm gonna go to P2, I'm gonna feel a massive exaggeration out here, right? So you see how that forearm is right here, see how nothing's changed in my wrist? I feel as though my right elbow is climbing on top of, that on top of the lead arm, okay? From here I'm gonna set up, feel like I get crossed, you won't actually get yourself in that position with as flat as you are. But that's gonna be the feel that we do with slow speed, and then when we go into speed, it'll get us there, okay? And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you a drill for your leg again. So set up here, good, up top, beautiful, okay? So you see where that is, right there? That's good enough if we get our full turn there to get us into a position where we can keep that club more vertical and then shallow it coming down. That's the feel we wanna have, right? So here's another drill for you. So set up, feel ourselves hinge the wrist, okay? And then just turn everything back with this structure. Nothing's happening with those forearms, right? We're just using the chest, okay? Do that drill for me, hinge the wrists up, turn it back. There you go. That puts you in a dynamic athletic position to do what we want, that's good. Good. Hinge it up, turn it back, go. Good. Now, I want you to try and put that together and exaggerate that feel where there's no roll behind you at all in your backswing and hit one. Just turn. That's so much better, dude. That's the feel that you need to have when you're trying to be dynamic in the downswing, right? You can't get that club rolling behind you. The second it rolls behind you, you pull that thing steep as can be, you start compensating with your body and get into a whole bunch of weird positions, okay? So work that and I'll be back. I like that that foot's pulled back here to get you more turn, yeah. okay? That's something I really like. Let's try and flare this foot out a little bit more. There you go. Okay. That's gonna help us get the lead side more through. So let's do a rehearsal without a ball. Go ahead and turn back. Turn through and try and get onto that lead foot. Go, swing. So you see, you kind of bump that way pretty hard yeah. towards your target. That's right. Feel like it's turning back off of that lead leg. We have it out now to put you in position to really get that turn. Feel like you're gonna turn it more out. There you go, that's your feel, yep. That'll help you get more turn around the corner. That's something you're looking for. Am I right? trying to put pressure on the ball of my left foot? Yeah, that's so the outside ball. So when you start, turn back for me. Not, yep. not here. Nope, turn back. I'll, I'll show you how it moves. Go ahead, okay. turn to the top of the backswing. Turn to the top of the backswing. Let's stop there. So when you transition, the, fir the first pressure move is gonna be right here, okay? okay? Into the ball of the foot. Then when you start pushing backwards, right? It'll start moving towards that outside heel. Does that make sense? So it'll look more pushing like this. Backwards. So it'll look like when you're coming down, yeah. you pressure in here, right? Then you start extending the lead side up, then it's gonna move is back towards the end. Is that a little bit yeah. Yeah. So you're in, I call it in, right? You turn up, you're into the ground, then you're out of the ground, and that's gonna move it towards the heel. There you go, good. Try and get one more turn without a golf ball. Just take the swing for me. Good, that's a much better turn. Now try and do that with a golf ball. Oh, that's smoked. Do you feel that you're really getting around the corner when you do it that way? Yes, and I know that when I do this, everything goes to the right. Sure. And that happens sometimes. I think the secret, the secret thing is not there. Well, any any time you, you, you had your foot squared up here, and this one pulled back, so it's really hard to get that turn against that foot. By flaring that out, that's going to put us in position where we can really push out of that foot more in the downswing. So that's the point. I want that foot out. That'll help you get that turn versus that slide. 
Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.